As of right now, if you lived in Los Angeles, California, and you wanted to travel to San Francisco, California, how would you do it? Uh, you could choose to drive, maybe take a train or a bus. Uh, as for me, I'd probably take a plane because I can't stand long drives. Now, uh, the uh, flight to Los Angeles from San Francisco uh, is about 90 minutes of nonstop flight. It also costs 180, uh, between 130 to 180 dollars, depending on which uh, airline you chose, as well as which class of seating. So today, what I'd like to do is inform you about the uh, Tesla's Hype Hyperloop, which is a new concept of travel from inventor Elon Musk. Now, some of you might not have a very good understanding of commuting or traveling. That's okay. I'd like to encourage you to pay attention to this information. It'll give you a better working knowledge of how the technology will affect um, travel. As well as those of you who are like myself, who know full well um, the, the world of commuting and traveling, um, I'd also like to encourage you, as this will um, excite you about the new technology that's coming into the world of transportation. Now, I've been commuting for years. Uh, I know full well how much time, effort, and money it can take to maintain that, that sort of a schedule. Um, I've done extensive research on, on uh, this technology using online articles as well as the published document online that the inventor has put out himself. Now, what I'd like to do is discuss the reason uh, Tesla, or excuse me, Musk himself uh, has uh, invented this concept, uh, how it actually functions, and how it will be implemented in the future. Um, now, you might know Elon Musk from the founding of a little company called PayPal as well as more recently companies uh, Tesla Motors and SpaceX. Um, and according to Musk, the concept uh, of this whole idea was birthed out of the fact that uh, California is going to be building a $70 billion high-speed railway system along the coastline of California. Um, now the new rail would, uh, would cost the everyday commuter roughly $208 round trip to go from point A to point B, so it's pretty expensive. Um, now the rail could see speeds of about 164 miles per hour, um, which would get you from Los Angeles to San Francisco in about two and a half hours, and that's how long it would take to cover the 400 miles. Um, now this is modest as far as high-speed trains go. Um, more more uh, recent trains, especially the uh, Japanese maglev trains, have been uh, known to see speeds of up to 310 miles per hour on average, and that's according to an article from LiveScience.com, Last Access. June 5th, 2013. So we've talked about why Musk came up with this concept. What I'd like to do now is kind of uh, explain how the, the tube uh, system actually functions. So what Musk is proposing is a series of tubes that will be mounted on a, above ground on pylons, as you can see here. Uh, and in these tubes will be a capsule or pod. And the um, inside the pod, it would house up to 28 passengers. Now, <clears throat> Musk theorizes that each of the pods would have um, what's called an electric compressor fan built onto the nose of the system. Um, and as you can see it here on the sketch, that would actively relieve a high pressure air from the front of the vessel to the back of the vessel. Now, if you've ever worked with a, um, with a car, you know that it's probably not gonna go 700 miles per hour. So what he does to overcome this is use what's called an air bearing system. Now that functions basically like an air hockey table. If you ever play with an air hockey table, you know that air comes up from the table and slides across the, uh, the table with the puck. Now that's the same basic concept with, the, um, with these pods. They would be the ones producing the air, pushing down on that, and then they would be propulsed um, through the, the tubing system. And uh, this has been demonstrated to work of up to speeds of Mach 1.1, so it's incredibly fast. Now, according to speed, uh, excuse me, according to Musk, speeds of up to 700 and 760 miles per hour is very realistic for this technology. Um, now that would take you from LA to San Francisco in about 30 minutes flat, so it's very, very fast. Now the entire system would run completely on solar power, it would be also 100% self-sufficient, it would be immune to weather, it also wouldn't be affected by turbulence, and astronomically safer because it's contained in a vacuum controlled environment. Now one of the most exciting things about this whole idea is that based on the cost of the entire system, you could expect to pay roughly $20 per, uh, per one-way ticket. Uh, from point A to point B. Now, Musk anticipates the entire cost of the, the project to cost roughly seven and a half billion dollars for the whole system. Now, that would be two one-way tubes and uh, 40 pods to go with the tubes. Uh, and obviously, that's quite a bit lower than the 70 billion dollars that was uh, originally uh, uh, proposed by the state of California for that railway system. Now, all of this logistical information comes from the document uh, published by Musk himself online, last accessed August 12, 2013. 
So we've talked about uh, why Musk invented this concept, how it actually works. Uh, now what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about how it will be implemented in the future. So unfortunately, as it stands right now, Musk has stated that because he's, too, uh, he's very busy working with the, the two companies that he, he's the CEO for, he doesn't actually have any time uh, to develop the technology for practical use and has instead published that online document I talked about earlier for any company to, to take use of it and put it into, uh, put it into use. And uh, he has challenged the company to go ahead and make his idea a reality. Now, there are speculations as to which company would come forward and, and um, take on a daring project like this, but uh, there has been none so far, according to NBCNews.com, uh, last accessed August 12, 2013. So we've talked about Tesla's Hyperloop, uh, how the concept was invented, um, how it actually functions, and how it will be implemented in the future. Um, and I believe if this were to be developed successfully, it would revolutionize the way we, uh, we, trans we, we travel across the country. Um, now, we would like to show, uh, we, we watch shows like Futurama and the Jetsons and think that that technology is just way out of our reach, but this would make it a reality. Um, now, imagine a world where we could trans, uh, travel from Boise to Portland at the same time that we could travel uh, from Nampa to Boise. Now, um, transportation is just one of the many ways that our world is evolving, um, and it's an exciting time to be able to see it happen in front of our eyes. Thank you. Gosh. How many?